Good morning, friends. All my roof rats and roof ninjas. Roof ninjas in training, so on and so forth. We're in Florida today. Sorry, lights got you. Uh, we're working some uh, Hurricane Ian. I'm sure we're gonna be getting into a lot of tarping. So if you uh, need some tarp points, we're gonna be touching on that. Um, I don't really like working these storms because they can be nightmares, um, especially just the, the current situation. We're only about two and a half, three weeks from since the storm hit. So we're still running into situations where there's just a lot of congestion. Uh, a lot of businesses are you know, swamped with uh, other people that are down here for the relief effort. Luke, uh, Red Cross, you still got a lineman down here. Um, a lot of FEMA cleanup, um, all the debris trailers. So using the bathroom or just stopping by to grab a quick bite to eat can be a little challenging. And uh, so, but anyways, we're down here. We're gonna do what we can to help out. And uh, we're gonna catch you on some claims in just a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Really interesting. Just as I step right out of the truck and look down, we've got several, several dead fish here. This is from probably all the flooding, and then of course the water subsides. Yeah, this is a snake here. I can't tell what kind of snake it was, but that thing was only killed just this morning. It looks like. Well, I can't say I've ever had a helicopter fly over me during a roof inspection uh, with a container dropping stuff off. I really don't have enough time to be just shooting this video. I need uh, to be getting on to my other inspections, but this place is busted for sure. Man, look at that. Rip the hip and the ridge cap right off. That's mortared in. It's amazing. This is terrible. This is the part of storms I hate working. This is people's lives right here. This is just an insanely nice area of the country. I mean, it's nice here. And this place is just devastated. Uh, the storm surge was at least six feet from the street, like above street level. So I don't know what it actually was, 10 feet or something maybe. Uh, pretty much the whole neighborhood's got everything they own on the inside. They got ruined from water. I mean, look at that. Counters, beds, couches. I think uh, these particular folks that we're here to look at, they had a Suburban in the garage that was completely submerged in water. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna walk inside real quick and see what it looks like in there. Six foot water line in the garage. We're gonna walk through the inside and see how badly this thing's flooded. place ruined man that's where the water was at that's just crazy unbelievable I tell you it is just never cool to see someone's life on the street like that property manager at this house we just got done looking at it said oh I bet you see this stuff all the time uh, not exactly and even if I did it still would never like not suck you know it's pretty dangerous driving out here when the stop signs are faced the other way or they're like completely blown over you're just cruising along and you don't even know that uh, there should be a stop sign
fortunate for this homeowner. She didn't sustain a ton of damage. There is a good bit now, but it could have been significantly worse. We've got several missing shingles in these areas. A lot of exposed felt. Tarp will wear you out, especially if the wind starts blowing. Man, we're done here. Back to the hotel, take a big shower and uh, wrap these claims up and be ready to do it again tomorrow. Just didn't uh, take as long as I thought. So yeah, we got us a full 12 by 18 here. I don't know what that was, seven feet by something. And there's about 10 by an eight over there, nine by something. I don't know, we got about 300 total square feet close to it maybe. next inspection and this thing is an insane house this is by far one of the nicest houses i've ever seen in my whole, the whole neighborhood's nice but as far as my personal inspections go this has got to be the nicest house ever uh it might be the biggest too it's i'm trying not to you know be like a weirdo gawker but it's just it's just a nice home and uh i'm gonna try to not be obvious but maybe i can get some decent shots in here boy if we had to tarp this whole thing i'd take a week and four guys so let's hop up there and see what we find okay we have pretty much completed our inspection at this point we're just up here grabbing some overviews. This inspection is basically like a commercial claim. It's just so big. It's taken me forever to document this stuff. But uh, really, really nice house. This this roof is enormous. Uh, probably a hundred squares, maybe a little bit more. I think the house is like 15 or 16,000 square feet. This, this is a chimney. Look at this thing. It looks like something off of Aladdin or something like that. Pretty amazing. We're right on the golf course. Like I was saying, Naples, if you don't know, Naples, Florida is just such a nice area. Okay, we got one more job left today. It's a tarp. And we'll be done unless somebody needs some help. One of the things I love about traveling is you get to eat sweet restaurants. We just got this taste of Poland. I to eat some, eat some. Dang, that's a nice super. Heck yeah. Pretty decent condition. Five speed. Well, anyway, we're gonna chow down on this sandwich here. I expect it to be bomb. I got some stuffed cabbage too. I don't even know what it's stuffed with. I don't care. It's gonna be good. So the stuffed cabbage is like this big ball. It's like cabbage wrapped around something. And it's in some kind of sauce. It smells tomato-y. Oh, I think it's stuffed with some kind of rice and Almost like a ravioli kind of tasting sauce. Pretty good. It's got like a cheese and a rice. Yeah, not bad. Not what I thought it was going to taste like, but got to try it at least once. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh-huh. This is Polish ham. I don't even know what the cheese is. I said, just put everything on it, whatever you do. And she said, okay, in a Polish accent that I am not even about to attempt.
That is a delicious sandwich. Mm hmm. I was starving. Anyways, we gotta go knock this tarp out, so I'm gonna pig out while I drive and I'll see you there. We're in Cape Coral. I think Cape Coral probably is as much annihilated as any any other city or town that got hit by that hurricane. Um, it's pretty bad. Everything's got tarps on it, or will have tarps on it by the time we're done with it. So yeah, we got a good, probably 25, 28 squares here. Request from the insurance company that we tarp the entire roof. And uh, we're probably gonna have to do that because we can't really get away with not tarping certain sections. I mean, even this slope, it looks like it doesn't have any damage. It's got some missing tabs there. So yeah, we're gonna have to cover this whole thing and uh, it's gonna be pretty much a nightmare. Um, it's, it's perfect weather temperature wise, about 60 degrees. And that's what you wanna, that's, uh, that's ideal for any kind of roof walk in or work like this. Cause you know, you're gonna get hot once you start moving and it's just perfect temperature, but the wind's blowing which means my tarp could end up in this canal um, if I don't do this a certain way. And we're just gonna have to do the best we can. We'll probably be here for a good four or five hours, maybe. Maybe I get it done quicker than that, but uh, it's gonna be a fun job. So we'll check in with you throughout the process and we'll show you what it looks like once we're done. All right, so first step, uh, putting a tarp on in the wind. You do not let the wind like help you uh because it will take advantage of you so we basically start out with just one one layer find your ends we nail the perimeter down and we're stretching it as we go instead of trying to stretch an entire 40 foot tarp out you're never going to get that accomplished with the wind fighting you so we still have some of it balled up and we're just kind of slowly releasing all of it doing some perimeter nailing here so uh that seems to be working pretty good for these pipe boots we'll come back and tape them up and make sure we can come up with kind of like a patch for them also another quick note we are going to have to overlap this so i'm not going to get too concerned with how many nails at the top i'm going to put on because we're going to put an entire another tarp on top of this probably this is a 20 by 40 i'm going to see how much i can cover this front slope i'm going to do the same thing on the back slope because it's almost mirror image and that's going to cover a ton of area front and back and i can just come back with like some 10 by 12s i've got some 20 by 20s we don't want to overlap it too much because then we start getting confused on how much square footage that we tarped i mean just because i used seven 20 by 20s doesn't mean you know i tarped however many squares that is all right there you go 20 by 40 is done Cut around that little pipe boot this little vent here could go to the dryer i'm not sure but not going to leave it covered up so like i said we'll come back and we'll put some tape here pat patch around that so that way we won't have to worry about it we're going to do the same thing for the back and then we're going to come this little strip we're going to have left and that should have that's at least half the house and all we'll have to deal with is these stupid hips and valleys and man Four and a half hours later, still working on this thing. We're almost done though. I'm just thankful that everything's nice and smooth as glass. Not very many wrinkles. Valleys look pretty decent. The only thing that sucks is I've got this one piece left and I'm really trying to figure out how to not open another tarp. But the only thing I have on the truck is uh, it's the same tarp, it's just green. Normally I wouldn't care about that. But I did this entire 30 squares in silver. I don't want to be the guy that just loses focus last minute and does something that to a homeowner may appear to be like, maybe I just ran out and used something else. It's the same part. They come in all different colors. So anyways, I'm just gonna open up another one. The whole thing will be gray, silver, whatever. We'll be done. This was uh, not as not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I was gonna take me a lot longer, but I haven't taken any breaks, so I'm running on a donut. Thank you, Kyle Nolan. And a coffee. Thank you, Kyle Nolan. And a couple bottles of Gatorade. 
So we're gonna wrap up and we'll be uh we'll be headed out of here. And there we have it, completely finished. This thing is pretty amazing. It gets a little sloppy around here, having kind of a hodgepodge of random randomness to uh, cover up, and I didn't want to you know, have to start cutting tarp, so we did overlap a little more than we had to over here, which is fine. At the gas station, look at this speed lightning. I'm totally gawking on this truck because we grew up Ford family basically, not really, but kind of, but dude, this is, look at this thing. 351, baby. That's a sweet, sweet truck. That is so clean. Oh my goodness. Thank you, sir. That was cool. Goodness gracious, is that an owl? There's an owl right here. How about that? I think that's pretty much it. We are we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. Uh, another house that we just left and this whole street, I mean, it's just, the flood stuff here is just insane. We're in Naples and uh, yeah, I just, I feel so sorry for these people. But anyways, um, we're wrapping our trip up. We were headed home probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. And uh, so we appreciate you guys hanging out with us as always. You should have already hit the like and subscribe button. But if you haven't, we're going to give you one more chance to go ahead and do that now. Share it with all your pals. And uh, obviously, if you have any comments, we love when we get to have some conversation. So throw all that down in the comment box. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Take care.